What's up, Hot Wheelers? This is Jasper49, back with you here for a look at another 100% Hot Wheels die-cast collectible car here. This time we're looking at the mean little killer bee. This guy is a, a feisty little 1933 Willys drag vehicle, and um, part of the 100% series. Now, uh, the 1933 Willys also came in an orange version in the 100% series, I believe, uh, before this particular model in the 2001 uh, assortment, or case, or whatever you, you want to assign to it there. This one uh, came in the 2002, which you can see here is collector number 15, 2002. So I'll go ahead and show you the back here if you want to read it. Here's in Star Wars uh, uh, text fashion here. But uh, if you want to pause that, I think you can read it. Uh, but these cars uh, came out in early 2000s, and um, they're still pretty easy to find, and they're still pretty reasonable, uh, which is what is great about the 100% series. And it's a lot like the um, Ultra Hots, which came out in mid-2000s. And, uh, you know, they're really unique castings. They're uh, real rider tires. A lot of times they're metal on metal. Uh, sometimes the 100%s are metal on plastic. But, uh, you know, you get a really cool car, and the best thing about them is they look a lot better out of the package. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get this little killer bee and set her free. But um, the bad thing about these 100%s is the packaging itself. I've talked about this before, but there's way too much packaging on these 100%. Uh, pieces and they're full of nasty cardboard so uh, even better reason to get them out of there but they also really don't do anything for the car and the same goes for the ultra hots the packaging just isn't that slick so I have a lot of fun unwrapping these and hope you uh, have a lot of fun doing it as well or at least watching these videos so uh, we're gonna set the killer bee free now um, we are totally sealed on the back here just so you know not returnable. We will not be returning the killer bee. Now, you know, they give you a window on the back, which is cool, in case you want to uh, keep it in the package, but look, man, I've only got so much room, and I bet you do too, so um, why don't we unwrap the killer bee and check her out? This time I've brought my trusty scissors here, and we'll try to get through this without a major catastrophe. And, uh, There we go, some nice old glue here, look at that. And then uh, here is the wonderful array of packaging that I've talked so fondly of, but you just don't need it. So here's all this extra cardboard, let's see if this will pop right out. Very nice. So there we have the Killer Bee. And she is free. Doesn't she look better out of the package? I thought so. So let's take off her case here, if we can. And I'll give you a nice little look around here before we take her off the base. But um, really cool tampos. These are like the old-timey drag cars that you'd see at regional races and things like that. And I really like that vintage look to it. Really nice glossy black. Um, nice sort of parachute pack right here which lets you know it, it indeed is a dragster big fat back tires and uh... got a little bit of that you know engine coming out the front there does have a moving part which is something great about the hundred percent series and the ultra hots they usually have a moving part so uh, another great thing about these cars so i'll show you the other side here and then what i need to do is because as you know if you know the hundred percent cars they're screwed in, so um, I'm going to get my trusty screwdriver and unscrew these, and uh, we'll be right back. All right. All right, we are back, and we have released the bee from her base, and so now we can take a closer look. I also removed the uh, the rubber band that was uh, keeping the hood down. I think that keeps it from. Uh, moving uh, the hood during uh, packaging, or in the packaging. Uh, it had kind of fallen apart from being in there for 10 years, so that's to be expected. But this is a pretty sweet little uh, Willys right here, so it um, uh, looks great out of the package, right? 
So the moving part here is the front hood, which is right there, and I'll give you a little peek inside there where you can see this really cool red colored block engine, uh, which is pretty unique and has the chrome pipes coming out of it. So it's nice to have kind of a two colored um, engine detail there, and I'm turning her upside down. I should probably do it this way, huh? Uh, but it's also cool because it sort of matches the paint tempo, which is on the side of the car here. So really nice attention to detail through there. And um, you see the red piece is one part that, that kind of snaps in, I guess, right there. We'll go ahead and look in the bottom since we've got her turned over here. And I have it upside down, of course. Okay, I don't know if you can even see that. Here we go. But you can see where it says uh, 1999 copyright. 33 Willys Hot Wheels made in China. This is a plastic base. Um, the only other 100% series I've had with a metal base is um, the Chevy Nomad, which um, the Big Mother also had a plastic base. But uh, it doesn't. It has that nice uh, glossy black. We looked at the parachute back here, but I'll show you the back just a little bit closer. Come on. There you go. So it does have painted tail lights, and it's got kind of the drag um, braces here, which are chromed out, look pretty nice. And I think those are rubber tires, I believe. They're just um, those treadless, treadless ones. Um, and obviously they're smaller tires in the front, which is what that should be. But uh, anyway, nice interior. I don't know if you can see the interior here, but you can barely see. Let's see if I can. I don't know. Barely see in there, but uh, there's a little steering wheel. It's a tiny, tiny bit of detail. Looks like there may have been a, a roll cage or something in there at one time, but I can't really tell uh, if, it's, if it's bent or not. It kind of looks out of place. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it sort of looks like it's um, not quite where it's supposed to be. But, uh, you know, no big deal. It's in the dark back there, so I'm not going to look at that too often. But uh, this is a super nice, uh, super mean, and super cute little drag car. The Killer V, which comes in the 100% series. And uh, I think I've shown you just about every side of this thing, but uh, yell at me if I haven't. But I thought what I'd do is show you the other two 100% cars we picked up side by side here so you can kind of see the size difference. So there's the Chevy Nomad, which obviously is a lot longer than the Killer Bee, as you can tell there. I'll just back them up here so you can kind of see that. And then, <laughs> don't forget, we've done the Big Mother as well, and she is quite a bit longer than all three of them. You can't really see. Here you go. This gives you a profile look here. I'm trying to be true to the uh, perspective here, but uh, that gives you an idea of the size of the Big Mother back there and the Killer Bee, which is actually the tallest car out of all three of them, but the shortest as well. So, um, there you go. These two cars are in their own separate videos, so if you haven't seen those and want to check them out, they are also on my channel. But uh, yeah, just a quick look here at the 100% Series Hot Wheels Killer Bee, which came out in the 2002 series. Looks a lot better out of the case, doesn't it? But as usual, if you have questions or comments, I'd love to uh, entertain them below. And I appreciate you watching with me this afternoon. We'll see you in the next video.